the finest. I am gay. Here's the thing about Kona Reeves. He was a wrestler. <laughs> he is technically. And is. Technically, we saw him. Yep. But we have zero memory of him. And uh, so, anyway, if, you, if you're not familiar with Kona Reeves, good for you. <laughs> that means that means your brain has done wonders to keep this piece of shit out of your shit. mind. But uh, Kona Reeves recently came back into the NXT roster. That's right, back. He was there before, <laughs> and uh, he came back with a new gimmick, uh, calling himself the finest. Basically, you know, your typical cocky, overconfident, you know, rich, pretty boy type of gimmick. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately for him, EC3, the guy that's exemplifying that gimmick right now in the game, as it were, uh, came in before him like yeah. by what, like a couple of weeks? Yeah, a few weeks. Uh, and of course, Velveteen Dream's been there for a while. Yeah. Uh, there's th th The point here is there's tons of people doing this gimmick way better than fucking Kona Reeves. Now, that might seem unjust and unfair because he's just come back with the gimmick. But it didn't take but one millisecond <laughs> of us seeing this turd holding crap to go, man, what is this guy? The only way we could see this working out is if Kona Reeves is intentionally lame. Yeah. But he's not. They're playing it straight up. Like, yeah, like if, if, if he thought he was cool, but everybody knew he sucked massive dingalings, maybe. Granted, that is technically the character he's playing right now. <laughs> but it's inadvertent. <laughs> but yeah. He's not self-aware of that. He, he literally thinks he's cool shit. And uh, it, it's it's got to be the worst. First of all, let's, let's, get, let's get straight to the point here. We're not pretty guys here. No. We're not handsome. So we know what the fuck we're talking about. Shit. Kona Reeves is one ugly son of a bitch. He's one of the ugliest people I've seen in my life. Yeah, quite. And, and I have to see myself every freaking day. Look... We're not trying to be superficial. We are, but we're not trying to be superficial. The, we're just being legit here. I even had to test this with other people. So I, I contacted a couple of my female friends, and I said, "Just I mean, they don't like wrestling. They don't watch wrestling. I just said, what do you think of this guy? Do you think, what, what, what's your takeaway? If you saw this guy and he hit on you in a good way that you like, whatever that may be, mm. would you go for it? And their immediate reaction was downright visceral, almost <laughs> fucking vomited on the screens. And somehow I would see that. I don't know how. But uh, that's how the point is, they thought this guy was the most disgusting man alive. Yeah. Now, there's an irony to that, you know. You could play that. You could play that's that. That's what I'm saying. Like, if, if his name, if, if his nickname was The Finest, but he was a hideous piece of shit, and he sucked, and everything he did sucked, that's funny. And then the cocky, ugly guy can work, and it's worked before. And not even in a very self-aware way. Like, like a Ric Flair is not a fucking attractive mm -hmm. guy, but he's played the cocky, you know, confident dude, you know, etc. There, there's plenty of examples of it working. Yeah. Case in point, EC3. Look, the guy has a body chiseled from the fucking Mount Olympus itself. It is a great bod. But he's, he's let's, come on, he's an ugly guy. He's, he's not a good looking guy. He's not guy, a good looking dude. He's got the confidence factor, so you're like, oh, that's a yes, good looking guy. He sells the confidence. Yeah. You feel the confidence because of the confidence, and because he does come off as, you know, kind of charming in that way, yeah. uh, it works 100%. Kona, Kona has zero confidence, and you can tell. He's walking he's out there. He's playing confidence, but he doesn't yeah. have the confidence. He's walking out there with this goofy ass smile. Yelling, I'm the finest at everyone. Everyone's booing him because he sucks massive dingalings. My favorite part was during the second match when there was a lull of silence, which was, there was many to be yeah. fair, because it sucked. His entire existence is a lull. <laughs> there was this lull of silence and some rando in the audience goes, You suck! You <laughs> suck! And it was a general approval, first yeah. of all, from the audience. And second, we were like, yep, matter of fact, he does fucking blow. It didn't help that he was going up against Piolin. <laughs> Por la mañana. Here's another fucking thing. If you want to build up, you know, enhancement talent, Kona's probably the guy you want to put them against. Yeah. Because these two schmoes that he went up against, we we know that they were there before as yeah, enhancement Piolin, talent. We've seen Piolin before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now we were, like, cheering for them because yeah, we didn't want were, Kona to win. There was actual cheers for these, like, nobodies. It's pretty sad, man. Yeah, and one of them was like a literal nobody. The yeah. other guy, the Latino guy, he's been there a while, and he's you know he's a, mm -hmm. they, they and then NXT they have the thing where squat even the squash matches they can make the opponent look good. Yeah, and, uh, so that's good and to their credit. But the other guy was like, "Who is that guy?" Yeah. P.S. I still want him to win because Kona fucking blows. 
Anyway, Keanu Reeves sucks. He's not good. But I think the worst thing about him is, uh, let's forget the fact that he's hideous. Let's forget the fact that he, he literally has no confidence despite playing a confident his character. gimmick doesn't freaking fit. Let's forget the fact that his gear is the absolute worst. And the, 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 look, he came out with a white coat and, and trunks. Yeah. That's it. The first time. And I was like, that's supposed <laughs> that's to be like suave or what is I that? I guess that's rich. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. But... Then the second week, they, they, they updated his gear. They, they made it, I guess, the more permanent gear. And it was just the biggest <laughs> coat you could ever imagine on no, him no, now. We're not talking cool big, like like super fly cool big. No, no. Doing. No, it was just... This was like, like a kid wearing his mom's coat. Yeah, this was a big suit coat. This was fucking talking heads coat, only without any of the cool factor. Yeah. This was a coat that was too big for a guy. Period. <laughs> you know, with some fucking... Like general fucking. Uh, It'd be big on Lars. Shoulders, yeah, it would be big on Lars. Uh, uh, it was the worst looking coat ever. With like some leopard saying. print, like sides and a shitty thing on the back. It was terrible. And he comes out there, and it's just atrocious. Nothing about him works. So forget all that. What really is the worst about Kona, besides his hideous smile, is his fucking ring poses. Yeah. You know, right before they start, they you know they do a little pose. A little taunt, maybe a little cheer me on type of thing. This guy, you just got to go back and see. If you have the network, go back and see Kona's latest two matches. And you will see exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe not immediately, but once I tell you what it is, <laughs> you're going to be like, holy shit. He Literally. looks like he's standing in the corner holding his shit in. Yeah. You know, back in the day, maybe in elementary school, there was that one kid that didn't like to fucking go to the restroom. Yeah. And on occasion, you'd see him stand up, maybe go to the corner. Really stiff. And he was really stiff, mm. pinching his legs together. You know the pose, because you've probably done it once or twice, oh, too. Yeah, I know I have. I did it you know? freaking this morning. But just imagine that in a ring. Yeah. This fucking and idiot. And this idiot's trying to look cool. He's, like, yelling at people for approval. Meanwhile, he's standing there with a freaking log betwixt his cheeks. It's not good. Yeah, it's not good. Although I do hope it leads to the inevitable... He does a move and uh, the, the, the hold on the log gives way. <laughs> and a whole you know, slew of feces comes out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there's, there's just absolutely nothing about Kona that has impressed me. I realize in the, this, is, this is NXT. It is a de- developmental. And we can see people go from you know, 0 to 60 and you know, fucking one event to the next. It can happen. Kona may in fact fix himself i just don't see it I, happening I, I highly doubt it this guy it seems like he's screwed he's dead in the water he was probably dead in the water back when apparently he was there a year ago and uh we some we know i know we saw him we don't remember him though kona sucks yeah, this kona is, is horrible kona reeves for, think, okay first of all look he's from hawaii yeah uh and uh i forgot what they he used to compete under a different name but anyway kona reeves is his new name and it's clear to me that they're trying to tap into some link to Keanu Reeves. Because first of all, Kona, K, Keanu, K. Get bear with me here. Reeves, come on, guy. The guy doesn't look like Reeves at all. His real know. name's not Reeves. Who's the only other famous Hawaiian, uh, you know, super famous Hawaiian that you know of? Is. Keanu Reeves. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> clearly. Is, is, was he is Hawaiian? Yeah, you don't know Kona. No, I said Keanu. is. Oh. Oh, Iz? Yeah. Well, Iz is fucking dead as shit. <laughs> and Iz looked more like Yokozuna than anything. That's and Yokozuna point. had more wrestling talent than fucking Kona. And he could barely move because he's a fat lard. That's a good point. Backslash dead. And he's still a better wrestler. Anyway, Kona fucking sucks. <laughs> I don't think he's going to ever fix himself. Nope. I think he's terrible ass. But terrible I will say... <laughs> I will say that as bad as Kona is, he's probably better than most of the people on the main roster now. Shit. Because let's face it, all that talent is going to waste. I do kind of dig his little tune, but that's not enough. That's not enough, man. It's never enough. I mean, it was for Gangrel, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. But Gangrel's got personality outside the ring. So Kona. They could. Yeah, Kona might be a cool guy. I don't care if Kona's a cool guy. That's the thing. <laughs> I actually just don't want to see him ever. I want to pants Kona, reveal that he has a tiny wang, turn him around, see that feces roll out of his ass because he's clearly holding it in. Anyway, what do you think about fucking stupid-ass Kona Reeves? <laughs> Hashtag he sucks. Let us know. We are the Wrestle Ramblers. Hit like, share, subscribe, and those notification buttons. Because we're out.